Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, deploying Windows version 1709 with MDT. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do if you're using your MDT server that's already in place, already deploying Windows 10, uh, there's a couple of things that you need to do. One, uh, you need to get into the Microsoft site and download the latest Windows ADK Windows 10 version 1709. It's not one of those things that you automatically double click on it, install and your ADK gets upgraded. No, you need to get into the control panel. So let's right click on the start menu, go to control panel, depends on which uh, Windows server version you're using. Uh, click on programs and features. You're going to locate your Windows ADK and remove it. Now, I already installed the latest version of it and the build's going to be 16.299. Okay. Once you do that, your MDT is good to go. The next thing that you need to do is get inside your MDT and uh, import the operating system within the operating system node. So we are going to expand this. I'm going to right click on it and go into new folder. And actually, I already have a Windows 10 folder, so let's cancel that out. I'm going to right click on it and create a new folder, and we're going to call it build 1709, right? And next, next, cool, and finish. Great. So, because I'm using everything within a virtual machine, it really depends on where you're using your MDT. You're either going to uh, insert the ISO, or if you burn it into a DVD, insert it into your server. I'm using a virtual machine, so I'm going to go into VM. So, let's click on the VM settings, and I'm going to go to the CD DVD. I'm going to browse. I'm going inside my ISO folder, and within there, I have a folder called the Windows 10 version 1709 let's click on that open click ok and it should switch off there it goes awesome let's close that up i'm going to right click our new folder import the operating system it's going to be a full set of source files so click on x and the source directory is going to be our uh, location of where we mounted our iso so it's going to be the d drive for us ok click next I'm going to leave it as is. It's kind of weird that uh, version 1709 is being indicated as education, but I'm going to leave it. Click next, next again, and we're going to let it import. Okay, so the import of the operating system build 1709 Windows 10 is completed successfully. That's always a good thing. Click on finish. Now, the next thing that you need to do is upgrade your out-of-box drivers or your packages. Uh, you probably don't need to do this because you already have an MDT server and you're already upgrading it to support 1709. So you could just leave that as is. But the next thing that you really need to do is create a task sequence for Windows 10 1709. So because I already have a Windows 10 x64 right here, I'm going to right click on this folder, create a new task sequence. From here, we're going to give it a task sequence ID. So I'm going to give it win 1709, right? And a task sequence name. Let's go Windows 10 uh, V1709 X64 TS for task sequence, right? Give it a comment. That's up to you. Next. The template is going to be the default standard client task sequence. Click on next. And pick your operating system. So we placed it inside the Windows 10 folder and created another subfolder called Build 1709. And it broke it down to many versions. So pick the version that you want to deploy. Let's pick the Enterprise one. Okay. And click Next. I'm not going to specify a product key. And give it some information for the OS settings. So let's say full name is me. Organization is BTNHD and give it the website. So let's give it the website of that. Awesome, click on next. Give it an admin password, make sure you remember it. And click next, a nice little summary, click next. Done, click finish. Now the next thing that you need to do is right click on your deployment, update the deployment share, leave it as the default, click on next next again it should be pretty fast all right so updating our deployment share has completed we're gonna click on finish on that and let's test how our task sequence so I want to open up my WDS awesome uh, I like doing this just to make sure my boot image is you know up to date so I'm gonna right click the current boot image that I have which is 64-bit right click I'm going to do a replace image I'm going to browse 
and the path is located within the deployment share boot folder and you have two of them and this is the one that was upgraded today great I'm gonna pick the 64-bit one open next 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 and next now if you're deploying 64 and 86 you could put both images within your WDS boot images node but for me I'm only going to be using the 64-bit one so let that replace itself and what I'm going to do is go inside the host of my virtual machine I'm going to do a control alt enter click finish on that I'm gonna click on the folder and I'm gonna put this machine inside my E drive and let's call it uh, what is it? BJ dash win 10 17 oh nine let's do a little V on that there it goes 1709 great I'm going to copy this path beautiful I'm gonna to go to file new virtual machine next next it is going to be a Windows 10 next I'm gonna drop it inside that path I'm gonna give it this crazy name excellent click next I'm gonna give it 60 gigs next and finish great I'm gonna go back inside my MDT server and I'm gonna right click on my Windows deployment server and I'm going to restart I like to restart it to make sure it's nice and healthy there it goes excellent let's go back into this machine let's start this off and I'm going to click inside of it and F12 it like a madman all right looks like my pixie is not working so I'm assuming my DHCP is not running so let's go inside my MDT which is my active directory and all that good stuff let's say so let's click on a DHCP let's click on this guy and it looks like it is not running uh oh all right so let's fix this uh, let's click on the start let's type in services let's click on that and check if the DHCP services are running okay it is running so let's do a restart okay it's restarted let's go back here let's refresh it all right all green that's a good thing excellent excellent let's go back in here I'm going to completely shut down this machine just power it off yeah power it off great let's power it on one more time I'm gonna click on it like a madman let's F12 it there it goes excellent let's pick our boot image and it's going to boot into our boot image oh awesome okay uh, the task sequence has uh, executed so let's pick our task sequence that we created together so it's right here the Windows 10 v 1709 x64 TS for task sequence let's click on that click on next and I'm not going to capture it so I'm gonna click on next on that all right and that's it looks like it's doing its thing is reformatting the partition that's already completed it's pretty quick it's applying the image uh, it should take no longer between it depends on your infrastructure so for me it should be five to ten minutes uh, with the new Windows 10 version 1709 using MDT how cool is that again hopefully you enjoyed this video leave comments right below it's simple steps if you want to upgrade your current MDT server just make sure you upgrade your Windows 10 ADK uh, when you download the new version you have to really remove uninstall it okay you have to uninstall it first you can reboot your server but you don't really need to do that once you uninstall the old windows 10 adk uh install the new one start your mdt import the new operating system create a task sequence do whatever you need to do uh and then you're good to go so uh leave comments right below if you have any issues don't forget about hitting that like button and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out